You've learnt that to speak English better, you have to change the way you learn. By watching my videos, you've learned about a new, exciting way of learning English that really works. So far, we've learned about the first two secrets to learning English better. One, to learn like a baby, and two, to listen, listen, listen. Today, I'm going to reveal secret number three. Stay tuned to see what it is. Let's go. series on how to learn English better and welcome aboard the Palm Tree Teaching English Academy. If you missed the first videos in my series be sure to watch them as they all link together and follow each other and subscribe to my channel by clicking on the red button and the bell so that you don't miss any of my future lessons. By watching every one of my videos your English will improve faster and better than you ever thought possible. In this video, I reveal secret number three to learning English better. This builds on the other two secrets, and by the end of the video, I will give you lots of ideas and hints and tips about how to put secret number three into practice. Let me ask you something. Is language learning a race? Now you might think that's a strange question, but think about it. Think back to when you were at school or when you were at a language school. How fast did you learn English? I'll bet it was pretty fast. At schools and language schools, there's always lots of pressure on teachers and students to finish the textbook. There's a pressure to learn more and more and more and to finish within a certain time. At school, you have to finish the textbook within the year. At a language school, you have to finish certain chapters within the term. Why? Can you really learn, really understand, really absorb all of the language and get really good at it within such a short amount of time? Can you learn the past simple, for example, such as watched, waited, so completely that it is totally automatic within a week or two? And then, can you use the present perfect, such as, I have been, I have waited, perfectly and accurately within a couple of lessons immediately after that? Oh, and do you know when to use one and not the other? Of course not, but this is what you are expected to do at schools and at language schools. But what it needs is time. It needs time to properly learn things. And you know what it really needs? And this is secret number three. What it needs is for you to repeat, 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 like babies do. Now, if you watched my first lesson in this series, you will know that Palm Tree Teaching English Academy is different. Palm Tree Teaching English Academy is all about learning English naturally and like a baby learns it and so much better. So what do babies do? They hear the same language again, again and again and they repeat the same language again, again, again until it gets into their heads and it becomes automatic. So this is another change in the learning which will help you to learn English better. Every time you learn something, you need to repeat, repeat, repeat. Of course, what you shouldn't do is rush on to the next piece of language learning really fast. No, you need to repeat everything. And remember, as I said, language learning is not a race. So what should you do? Repeat, repeat, repeat. Now let's think about what sports people do. Let's say a footballer. Now, footballers don't say, now I know how to score a goal. I've done it once or twice. I don't need to do it again. I know it. Let me move on to something else. No, of course not. They practice and practice and practice and repeat, repeat, repeat the same thing until they get so good at it that it becomes automatic. And this is exactly what you're going to do. You're going to listen to those podcasts I mentioned in my last video. You'll, you'll see the links because I've put them again below for you. And you're going to watch my YouTube videos, not once, but every day until they absorb into your head many, many times. And then you're going to repeat the same audios for at least a week 
and maybe even 10 days before you move on to the next one so that they become automatic and you really get them into your head. The grammar will absorb into you, the vocabulary will absorb into you and do you know what? You will naturally start to speak the language automatically. No need to translate. So, are you going to rush from one podcast and one YouTube video to the next? No. You're going to spend a lot more time repeating, repeating, repeating. Remember, language learning is not a race. You have to get really good at it before you move on. So, trust me, you'll see a big, big difference to your understanding and your speaking of English. And you know what? You'll be one step closer to learning and speaking English like a native speaker. And don't forget, you're going to feel motivated and really good about your English learning because you're going to stretch, you're going to pull yourself up like we did in the other videos and feel the energy within you as you listen to English and repeat, repeat, repeat. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to watch the next one in this series to find out what secret number four is and my hints and tips to put that into practice so that you can learn English like a native and learn English better. And don't forget, midweek there are extra lessons on pronunciation. So if you don't want to miss any of that, make sure you subscribe to my channel, click the red button and the bell, then you won't miss any of my lessons. I'd love to see you also on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. So until the next lesson, bye!